टी वी एस एक्सएल इज ओवरटेकिंग मी यू नो आई एम सो पैथेटिक आई फील सो पैथेटिक नाउ Amazing. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today we have the Africa Twin. I know that you'll be very much surprised that this is the first ADV bike which is getting featured in my channel. And yes, I have to tell that I have very less idea about this motorcycle now. So I'm going to take it to the highway. I'll be riding it in the city for some time. and then i'll just give you my first ride impression i'm not any word to judge this motorcycle and to give you an in depth review but this will be something like a 250 cc in riding an africa twin so let's get this started okay being 169 cm tall or i don't know to call it as short <laughs> because it is slightly a taller motorcycle for me Okay by the way this motorcycle has uh, two riding modes one drive and one sport I'll just ex explain it to you this is a kill switch the same switch we can use it to start the motorcycle put it on to drive mode now it is in 1000 cc activa <laughs> that means you have to just use your accelerator no clutch no gear lever the rear brake and the front brake that's all okay let's do this You know something it is very difficult to ride a motorcycle without a clutch. It's like almost for the past so many years I was used with this clutch and the gear feel and now I'm riding an automatic motorcycle. Yeah but this do have a manual mode also. So this drive mode is not that much the powerful mode of this motorcycle. The sport is the most powerful mode. The sport itself has three sub modes in it like S1, S2, S3. Oh man it shifted to 2 nice wow it feels so good to ride a 1000 cc motorcycle which has this automatic shifting this was the same feel when i was riding a honda city automatic for the first time that's the first automatic car that i have uh, driven and to be honest i have to tell you that i didn't like it <laughs> because i love the manual mode but on this one i still have to explore whether i'll like it or dislike it So this is a 1000 cc parallel twin motor and you can feel that from the engine sound itself like you won't get that symphony of an uh, inline 4 but the parallel twins are like sweet sounding motorcycle the ideal thing is to put an akapovich and you will have the symphony started oh man what a bad timing to start the review but soon i'll be getting a highway I hope I can <laughs> ride it faster on the highway. Let's see. It all depends on the confidence that I carry now. TVS XL is overtaking me. You know, I am so pathetic. I feel so pathetic now. <laughs> Seriously, I don't have to develop that ego now because I know that I'm riding a 17 lakh motorcycle and I, I should be very careful with it. All right. So finally, we have reached the highway. and i have to say that man this bike i don't have words to explain how it was responding in dead traffic it's a 1000 cc adv motorcycle which i just rode in dead city traffic i have to tell that there is some heating which was coming to my legs but it's nothing i mean it's a 1000 cc it's a huge engine so don't have to worry about it and my greatest confusion was the africa twins automatic shifting in the in the sense i i'm never used to this kind of a thing and it's like always i have the feel that okay someone is shifting for me and it was not syncing up with me and i was like okay man shift it fast shift it fast i was telling this to this bike it was awesome and i don't want to waste your time on this video you see this we have this highway and we will take it on this highway before that i'll explain few things to you yes to take it out of the stand i feel that it's slightly heavy once it slants okay i think all these motorcycles you have to let it go you can pick it up later so it is like started put it onto the drive mode now if you just accelerate it'll go this is the scene and i have uh, abs turned on traction control fully on oh man let's now try this on highway the 
transition is very smooth that's what it's a dct it's a dual clutch transmission i think this is the same thing that we see in volkswagen polo gt also oh my god 130 in no time And you know something at this speed also i'm not facing any kind of a wind issue wind blast buffeting problems my goodness Okay, using these paddle shifters, I can shift down and shift up if I want. I'm shifting one more down. Amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing. Because of the DCT, you won't feel that the gears are actually shifting. You'll just get a feel that the bike is slightly jumping, that's all. Oh man, I wasn't this much comfortable at a speed of 130 on any other bike, I have to tell that. I don't know, of course, I haven't tried any BMW GS or the Ducati Multistrada. But man, this motorcycle is like, it's a beast. <laughs> explain one thing that even at 180 190 i'm pretty much comfortable with the wind blast in the sense there is no wind actually directly hitting my chest or my helmet probably i'm not a tall guy that could be one reason but this windscreen is giving a complete protection and i was leaning a bit forward first of all this motorcycle is not for top speeds but definitely it can do some good top speed runs along with other 1000 cc motorcycle Wow, amazing downshifts, amazing downshifts. Okay, I'm not going to slow down for this hump. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I mean, first I thought that I was on a sports motorcycle. That's why I stopped for the first set of hump. And the second set of hump, man, oh boy, oh boy. Actually, this speed, what you see, this 100 and the 6 gear is like a gliding speed on this motorcycle. That means the... Sixth gear hasn't got that punch over the motorcycle. Totally loved it. Oh man, I, I, I didn't thought that an ADV could be this much fun to ride. What an amazing motorcycle. You can feel that suspension actually soaking up all the bumps on the highways. And like it was giving perfect balance of speed touring. The seat comfort is like amazing. There is a light amount of velvet over the seat. I don't know why, but it's not a seat cover. It's a stock seat, but you can see this kind of a thing in an Africa Twin. And the exhaust sounds good. It's really nice. I believe that an Accra or any aftermarket exhaust will just add some more grunt to it. And yes, for my height, it's a very tall motorcycle and it's slightly heavy. If it's balanced well, no problem. But uh, twice, I feel that if the weight comes onto one of the legs, then it's a very difficult task for me to balance it. But it's just a matter of getting used to this kind of a motorcycle. That's all. That's all I feel. Uh, my friend actually told me this that within just one kilometer itself you'll get used to this kind of a motorcycle i'll explain few things over this motorcycle so you have a good looking dash with all the information that you need and uh, yeah these these are the riding mode selectors you have drive mode and you have sport mode and sport actually has three levels let me just turn this motorcycle on yeah you can see the neutral here <laughs> drive mode yes you can see the drive mode here one more press you will get the s mode sport mode one long press over this you'll get sport mode two one more long press it is sport mode three and you have uh, traction control setting over here this place press it long press it turns off 
long press it comes back one press it goes to t it comes down to t2 now t1 again go to t3 the maximum traction what all things you have you have the selects to select to go through all the things that you see in the dial and you can set it you have the horn indicator these are actually the paddle shifters i'll show that to you you cannot see that from this angle oh. so this is downshift and this one is upshift and it was nice actually so if you want to ride this motorcycle in fully uh, manual mode you can press this it will toggle between automatic and manual and you can use these upshifts and downshift to shift and uh, yeah this is the caution lamp so that's it pretty much with the dial and things and you have the abs turn off turn on and you have a gravel mode when you go on off road you can use that let's do one thing let's put it on to s3 and i'll just try doing a drag <laughs> The good part with this motorcycle is like say I have put it on to drive mode 1 and I switch it off now there is a chance that if I turn it on I mean if I turn the ignition on there is a chance that it might go so on this motorcycle it is not there you push this button and the neutral comes automatically that is very nice feature drive mode now S3 now let's see the power I don't know whether I was doing a wheelie, but man, that was crazy. That was crazy pickup. Ah, this is much comfortable. The handlebar is like a, giving you a very wide feel. This wind visor actually gives you ultimate comfort till 190. That's the speed that I've reached on this motorcycle. Once again, I'll tell you, these speeds are not safe. You have to be comfortable with the speed before you just get on to those speeds and all. So, I have to keep that disclaimer now. and what i want to tell you is that it has a very very huge tank as i told this motorcycle is not made for top speeds or this acceleration test but i'm just amazed to see how the s3 mode the sports 3 mode just pushed it like anything it's so comfortable the foot pegs are like slightly forward set and i have a completely upright riding posture handlebar is like very wide so that i'm i'm having my chest completely wide i'm sitting straight my spinal cord is straight and with my height windscreen is perfectly fine till 190 or 195 which i have reached after that i didn't push i could push but i don't want to handling is not a big deal be it in city or in off road or in highways handling is like beautiful and you have yes you can have your panniers kept over here so it's like a complete package from honda and uh, this is a 2017 edition honda africa twin and it costs around 17 lakhs on road and uh, one of the best part about this motorcycle is the service cost and the mileage uh, i shouldn't talk about anything like that while uh, talking about a elite class motorcycle but still it gives you a mileage of around 18 to 22 very good for a elite class motorcycle and the service cost is around 4000 so yes i was just doing some off roads here i have to say that it's bloody damn comfortable okay i've never got attracted to any off road bike till now i have to say that the uh, off road bikes are a roaders and single cylinders <laughs> i have to admit that fact this one it's like heavy duty machine you can take it anywhere so let's see now you might be thinking what is that with the title of the video am i going to buy this motorcycle so before explaining that that part whether i'm buying this motorcycle or not i'm going to tell you one secret to you which only we youtubers know if you ask me what it is whenever a youtuber puts a video title saying that am i going to buy this motorcycle definitely he is not going to buy it i, I don't i don't want to bluff with you but that's the reason if we know that we're going to buy that motorcycle we'll definitely say that i bought this motorcycle and if we put a thumbnail which covers everything on the motorcycle and so that's going to be the scene but if you see any youtuber putting that am i going to buy this motorcycle most likely 99% of the time we are not going to buy it <laughs> because we are just trying our options and uh, we are just putting it out that's all so but don't get disappointed i know that few of the africa twin fans will come to me and now seen this video till now and gonna show some hate on me saying that hey strel you just bluffed on me uh why do you put this title and uh, disappoint us then i just told that i'm not buying an africa twin 
but yes there is a big news coming to the channel and you can expect it in a month time i'm not telling what it is you're free to guess it okay i'm not telling what it is going to be but definitely there is a huge news related to this channel and yes it is related to my upgrade only so you guys can keep guessing what it will be seriously i'm upgrading and i'm looking for an upgrade possibly in the next few videos i'll be revealing what is going to be my next bike and it is not going to be something in an adv like a tiger not like a ducati multistrada or a versus but something in sports or something in naked even i'm confused i'm looking for my options now so that's it with this video i hope you liked it this is more like a first ride impression of the africa twin and i hope you liked it so as always if you like this video show some love in the form of likes and comments see you in the next video until then bye bye